Let's take a look at this problem. The weight in grams of a pair of kidneys in adult males between ages 40 and 49 has a bell-shaped uh, distribution with a mean of 300 and a standard deviation of 20. So we got um, our mean is 300 and standard deviation is 20. Well, first off, we need to do our setup. So we draw our, our bell graph. Now, right here in the middle will be our mean, mu, not sigma, and that'll be 300. And then the, on each side, this will be mu plus one standard deviation. So I got 300 plus 20, which gives us 320. And this one will be mu minus one standard deviation. So I'll have 300 minus 20, which is 280. This next bar will be mu plus two standard deviations. And what we do is we keep adding, see how we keep adding 20 over and over? 280, 300, 320, this will be 340. And then this one will be mu plus three standard deviations, three sigmas, which will be 360. Okay, over to here. This will be mu minus two sigma. And this will be mu minus three sigma. And I'm subtracting 20. 300 minus 20 is 280, 260, and 240. And I need to put my percents in there. <clears throat> and will you go off this, this right here? So this is 34%. That's 34%. This is 13.5, and that's 13.5, 2.35%, and 2.35%, 0 0.15%, percent and 0.15%. percent. Well, now we're ready to answer the questions. A, about 95% of uh, kidney pairs fall between what weights? Well, if I go over to my original document, 95% is um, right here, and that's within two standard deviations. So what they're really asking is um, coming from two standard deviations on both sides. That's 95% of our data. So it's between 260 to 340. In this case, we're putting the numbers on the bottom, and that would be our answer. Now, B says, what percentage of kidney pairs weighs between 280 and 340? I'll do this in blue. 280 is right here. 340 is right here. And they're asking, what percentage between those two values? Well, we just add up the percentages in there. So I'm have 34% plus 34% plus 13.5%. So that gives us 68 plus 13.5. See 68, 78, 81.5. And that would be our answer. Now C. What percentage of kidneys weigh less than 260? Less than 260, you'd be going this way. So we'd have 2.35 plus 0.15. Weigh less than 260 or more than 360? So over here, here's 360, more than, ah, choose the right color. More than 360 would be the 0.15. Um, let's see, what is that? 0.3, um, 2.65? Yeah, 2.65. And then D, and I'll do that in purple. What percentage of kidney pair, kidney pairs weighs between 240 and 300? 240, here's 240, 
and 300 is right here. So we're going to add all the percentages between those values. So we've got 2.35 plus 13.5 plus 34 percent. And that gives us 15.85 percent. Now, plus 34, which gives us um, 49.85 percent. Um, 949, 49.85. Not very good at basic math, uh, but those would be our answers.